so I wanted to redo at least the front because I was looking at the back. I don't have time to do the whole head again. But I'm not experienced box creator. That was way above what I was going to give for my first time. So I just did these two little peekaboos here and on the side as well. Hey girl, so we're going to redo these braids, the front, just, just the front half, because the back is fine, I can just, you know, do a little touch up, but the front, I wanna actually redo the braids because now I have a technique. And like in my previous video, I just did these braids um, quickly, not quickly, but I did these braids because we went away. Um, we went away for the weekend to take the baby to Hershey Park in Sesame Place. So um, I'm going to redo them because I'm keeping them, in, keeping them in for my birthday. That's this weekend. So yes, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to literally take the braids out and just rebraid them and make them neat and nice. And yeah, so let's get right into it. So I separated from the back to the front the braids that I do want to redo and then I'm literally just going to cut where I think my hair ends and yeah just start all over because I have extra braiding here that I'm going to use. And I'm going to do one at a time just to keep the parts and to make it easier so I don't have to repart anything like that. Hey girl, so this video is mainly about cleaning up the braids and showing you how to do the cornrows. So I'm just making, separating this part, applying the jam to the perimeter of the boxes to make sure that it's neat and clean. And then doing these cornrows again, girl, it looks a mess, as you can see. And just taking it out, and that's the baby in the background, chaos. And I like to um, brush it out. I apply a little bit of water with aloe vera mix and a little bit of leave-in just to re-moisturize my hair before I braid it back up. And as you can see, I'm applying the jam again and then parting. This is how I part. So I part one side in half because I'm going to do crossover braids, clip it back, and then I do the other side making sure that it is even to the um, first uh, row that I did. Clipping that to the side and I braid from the front of the left side to the back of the right side and then I do that to the other side to cross it to cross it over so yeah I love this style I love that I added this little twist to it again it's from the Falani braids and then just to make the braid longer I fed it some hair I will link the video above that I use of uh, the Chic Natural to show you how to do that um and this is my hair with one side done as you can see like my hair was looking crazy before i did it and i'm just loving how you know it's starting to look as you can see it looks more neat on the side that i just finished and i just have to do the other side so again just applying the jam to my scalp to the roots of the boxes um, making sure that it is neat as possible, clean, using a brush of course to um, lay down all the flyways and the short hairs. And I just lay the braid in here on top of um, the three strands and just braid like that. Again, here we go with the cornrows. Like this braid looks crazy, but from far away you won't be able to tell. So whatever, we just going to keep going. And yeah, I was making sure that all my braids was braided down as far as possible. So any braid that I found that wasn't all the way braided, I was taking that and just braiding it all the way down, making sure that it stay in place. And I'm just loving the way my hair. So I added this tea tree and olive oil to my scalp because my scalp is still healing. Um, if you haven't watched my previous videos, my scalp has been itchy and dry and... Um, I had scabs, but I healed those, but it's still a little itchy and dry. Um, I think it's just from the braids. I just need to wash my scalp. So I'll put that on my scalp, and then I'm going to um, slick down my edges and do the mousse, do my rollers so I could dip my hair in hot water. And then, yeah, that will be it for my hair tonight. I'll show you how it looks in the morning. Um, because tonight is just not going to happen. 
I still have to shower. I just have to shower and straighten up and I want to edit some more. So that's going to be the rest of my night. It is 11 o'clock right now. I probably won't get into the bed until 12, which is normal for me. So yeah, so. <laughs> I'm terrible at this, so I'm gonna fix it in the morning. But this is as much as you're going to get from me right now. So here I am applying the mousse to the roots and then along the braids, the um, length of the hair, just to slip down all the hair and make sure that it's moisturized. And then also apply it to the end so I can apply my rollers so I have a little curl at the end. I love, love, love this style. And again, this video is just about cleaning up the braids. So it is the next day. I put my rolls up into my hair, dip my hair in water. And also put the mousse on the roots, oil my scalp, and just slip my scarf on. So, okay, so I'm taking down my rolls. As you can see on my face, I am already happy, and I know that I did a great job with this hairstyle. It is so cute. Again, this video is about just cleaning up the braids, and the focus was just on the corn rolls. If you want to see how I actually braided the box braids, I'll link that video up above. But I'm just loving, loving, loving the way that my hair came out. I'm loving the little two braids. So I like to wear my braids to the side, so I put the rollers in a particular way. So in the front, I have the rollers going up, up so like it could have a little soup and it can just curl up so that's why these cornrows are here so when it's to the side it has like a little peekaboo so put this behind the ear or wear it out so again, in my previous video, I got this inspiration doing, you know, doing cornrows along with my box braids from seeing um, the trend of the Falani flip over braids. So that incorporates cornrows with box braids or knotless braids. So that's where I got these from. I'm not an experienced braider, so this is my limit. You know, the styles that I saw had cornrows. Falani braids is really like the cornrows going down the middle. I'm um, incorporating the box braids around it and the cornrows on the side. Um, but I'm not experienced box braider. That was way above what I was going to give for my first time. So I just did these two little peekaboos here and on the side as well um, for when I want to wear my hair to the side. And this is a really cute style, I think. I love the way that it came out. Um, so yeah, I, I just redid the the front of it because when I initially did my braids again I'm not an experienced braider this is my first time so it didn't last the way that it should have last if I was an experienced braider or if I got it done professionally so I just did the front over because my birthday is this weekend well my birthday is Monday um, but I'm celebrating this weekend so one of my braids look fresh and from this distance you can tell that some braids are smaller or bigger than the other ones that some parts are just not straight that these braids you know aren't the most um corn rolly as you can say but you know it you're not supposed to be that close anyway you're not supposed to be that close anyway so yeah this is this this is the redo again i love these braids um cornrows on both sides i haven't figured out my edges yet i'm not an edge girl edge slicks down girl but i'm gonna try to figure it out with these braids and yeah this is this is what i came up with i love 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 this style and if you're thinking about um doing your own box braids or if you have done your own box braids before, let me know what technique that you use. And if you're thinking about doing your own box braids, what techniques do you think you're going to use? Again, in my previous video, I tried like three or four different techni techniques um, in total. The last one, what you saw in this video is what I went to sleep the night before. I thought about it. I was like, hey, I could just split my hair in three and then just lay the braiding on top of that. And that's the... Um, technique I stuck with so again go back to my previous video I have 
other techniques in there that I attempted and also the um, YouTube videos that I um, referenced to try to do it that way in there if you want to see if you can do it but this is the style redone um I love it and yeah that's all very simple um once you get the hang of it it's it's simple so i'm excited for what's you know i'm excited for what i could come up with next we're, we're gonna see we're going to see but i love this style on me and yeah it looks good so thank you so so very much for clicking on this video thank you so so very much for being a part of this video um being along with this journey again I have two other videos before this. I have the prep, how to prep your hair for protective styles, which is very important because you want your hair to be strong and healthy and moisturized so it's growing under your protective style. I have the video with um, doing the braids. It took me a long time to figure out a technique that worked for me. It took me a long time. Parting, I reparted my hair at least three times in the video. It's a real, realistic, authentic video. Um, and juggling also being a mom so it took me about three days to finish my hair and then this video is just a redone of the front part because who's really looking in the back nobody has time to redo the whole thing um you can also do a different technique with touching up your braids which i did the last time i had braids is just um slicking down the roots and um twisting it you you want to shampoo your hair first condition it rinse that out and then slick down your roots with the edge control or the whatever you use to slick down the box of your hair twist it pin it down let it dry like that and it'll look good as new but i had too much it looked like afro under mine so i i just i just decided to redo them but you don't have to do that so thank you very very much for clicking on this video thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for your support and your love and until next time be great